This is the Music History Today podcast for October 1st. On today's show, Barbara signs, Sony introduces the CD player, and tragedy strikes the Las Vegas Strip. First up, though, on this date in 1880, John Philip Sousa became the director of the United States Marine Corps Band. In 1947, the first pre-recorded radio show was aired. It was Bing Crosby's show, the Philco Radio Time Show. In 1962, Barbara Streisand signed a record contract. It was her first with Columbia Records. In 1962, same day, the Beatles and Brian Epstein signed a managerial contract. In 1965, Bob Dylan played at Carnegie Hall in New York City and played with his new backup band for the first time. The band would later be called, well, The Band, as in Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, The Band with Robbie Robertson et al., in 1966, Jimi Hendrix played in England for the first time when he got up on stage and played with Cream at their gig at London Polytechnic. In 1967, Traffic played together for the first time. In 1970, Janis Joplin recorded her final songs, and Jimi Hendrix was laid to rest in Seattle, Washington. Meanwhile, on the same day, Curtis Mayfield left the group The Impressions and fans in Milan, Italy rioted while trying to buy tickets to a Rolling Stones concert. All of that, 1970. In 1973, Pink Floyd began recording their album, Wish You Were Here. In 1977, Paul Simon's movie, One Trick Pony, premiered. In 1982, the first compact disc player came out, produced by Sony, changing music at least for about a decade or two. In 1991, Michael Jackson's famous white beaded glove that he wore during the Motown 25 TV special where he debuted the moonwalk was stolen out of the Motown Museum in Detroit, Michigan. In 1995, NSYNC was formed and the Farm Aid 7 benefit concert was held. In 2000, Midnight Oil were among the performers at the closing ceremonies of the Summer Olympics in Sydney, Australia. In 2008, 21 Pilots was formed. In 2011, Gene Simmons of KISS married model and actress Shannon Tweed. In 2017, in Las Vegas, Nevada, a gunman opened fire from the Mandalay Bay Hotel that overlooked the Route 91 Harvest Country Music Festival, killing 58 people and injuring over 500 others. We discuss more about what happened in depth on our podcast, the Music History In-Depth podcast, which has already dropped on this channel. Please like and subscribe and do all that stuff that helps the algorithm out, as they say. In 2021, David Lee Roth announced that he was retiring after he completed a 2022 residency at the House of Blues. He eventually canceled that residency after contracting COVID-19 in early January 2022, and the shows were not rescheduled. In classical music in 1905, the event that inspired Leos Janacek to write the piano sonata 1X 1905 happened when 20-year-old Czech protester Frantisek Pavlik was killed during a demonstration in Prague. In 1961, Dmitry Shostakovich premiered his 12th symphony, and in 1967, the 7th symphony from Roger Sessions premiered. In theater in 1941, the musical Best Foot Forward opened on Broadway, and in 1972, the Melvin Van Peoples musical Don't Play Us Cheap closed on Broadway. In award ceremonies that were held on October 1st in 1977, Elton John was inducted into the Madison Square Garden Hall of Fame in New York City. Albums that were released on October 1st include in 1960 when Elvis Presley released G.I. Blues. In 1961, Elvis was at it again, this time releasing Blue Hawaii. In 1962, the Beach Boys released their debut album, Surf and Safari. In 1969, the Monkees released The Monkees Present. In 1974, John Cale released Fear. In 1975, Rory Gallagher released Against the Grain. In 1976, John Mellencamp, then known as Johnny Cougar, released Chestnut Street Incident. And also on that same day, Styx released Crystal Ball. 
1977, The Runaways released Waiting for the Night. In 1978, Rory Gallagher was at it again, this time releasing Photo Finish. In 1979, Slade released Return to Base. In 1982, the Cocteau Twins released their EP Lullabies. The Damned released Strawberries. Marvin Gaye released his final album while he was alive, Midnight Love. In 1984, U2 released The Unforgettable Fire. Joan Jett and the Blackhearts released Glorious Results of a Misspent Youth. Shaka Khan released I Feel For You. Midnight Oil released Red Sails in the Sunset. Romeo Void released Instincts. And The Ramones released Too Tough to Die. In 1986, John Fogarty released Eye of the Zombie. In 1988, Lenny Gallant released Breakwater. In 1990, Iron Maiden released No Prayer for the Dying. Danny Minogue released Danny. 10,000 Maniacs released Hope Chest. The Fedonia recordings 1982 to 1983. And Elton John released the very best of Elton John 1990 version. In 1991, Cheap Trick released their greatest hits album, and Prince and the New Power Generation released Diamonds and Pearls. In 1993, Marduk released Those of the Unlight. In 1994, Natalie Cole released Holly and Ivy. Edge of Sanity released Purgatory Afterglow. In 1995, E17 released Up All Night. In 1996, Matchbox 20 released Yourself or Someone Like You. Bad Brains released Black Dots. The Thompson Twins released their greatest hits album. Curtis Mayfield released New World Order. And Nirvana released From the Money Banks of the Wishka. In 1997, Carbon Leaf released Shadows in the Banquet Hall. In 1999, 18 Visions released No Time for Love. In 2001, Kylie Minogue this time released Fever, and Elton John was at it again, releasing Songs from the West Coast. In 2002, Matthew Sweet released To Understand, the early recordings of Matthew Sweet. And also on that same day, Weather Report released Live and Unreleased. In 2004, Frank Zappa released Joe's Domage. And in 2007, the Psychedelic Furs released the best of the Psychedelic Furs. Singles that were released in the UK on October 1st include in 1965 when Roger Miller released Kansas City Star, in 1982 Phil Collins released Through These Walls, and in 1985 Sting released Fortress Around Your Heart. Meanwhile, in America in 1963, Elvis Presley did a twofer. He released Witchcraft and Bossa Nova, baby. In 1965, Roy Head released Treat Her Right, and the Birds did a twofer. They released She Don't Care About Time and their classic Turn, Turn, Turn. In 1969, the Birds were at it again. This time, only one song, though. It was The Ballad of Easy Rider. In 1974, Harry Chapin released Cats in the Cradle, a classic song. In 1988, Tracy Chapman released another classic, Baby Can I Hold You. In 1990, Wilson Phillips released Impulsive. In 1992, R.E.M. released Drive. And in 2020, Dua Lipa released Levitating. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcast from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on October 1st include Dutch composer Gustav Heinz, French composer Paul Dukas, actress and singer the legendary Miss Julie Andrews, blues great Albert Collins, actress and singer Brie Larson, Keith Duffy of Boyzone, Kevin Griffin of Better Than Ezra, singer Yusu Nador, Andy Walton of Kenny, actress and singer Danielle Basuti, guitarist Richard Oakes of Suede, singer-songwriter Nicole Atkins, Cub Coda of Brownsville Station, 
Martin Turner of Wishbone Ash, Rob Davis of Mud, Martin Cooper of Orchestral Maneuvers in the Dark, or OMD if you prefer, Mariska Veres of Shocking Blue, singer Donny Hathaway, Herb Fame of Peaches and Herb, Barbara Perry of The Toys, Jerry Martini of Sly and the Family Stone, pop singer Brooklyn Wyatt, singer Miles Parrish, rapper Drew Chadwick, K-pop singer Hyun Jong of Now United, rapper Dizzy Rascal, singer Howard Hewitt, singer Jade Bird, Japanese singer Sayaka, Swedish singer Sandra Oxenried, songwriter and pianist Roger Williams, singer and actor Richard Harris, and reggae singer Shinsia. Artists who unfortunately passed away on October 1st include composer John Blow, who passed away in 1708 at the age of 59. Opera singer Luisa Todi passed away in 1833 at the age of 80. Composer Ricardo Drigo passed away in 1930 at the age of 84. Songwriter Albert von Tilzer passed away in 1956 at the age of 78. Composer Hans Poser passed away in 1970 at the age of 52. The man nicknamed the Human Timekeeper, session drummer Al Jackson Jr. of Booker T. and the MGs, was murdered in 1975 at the age of 39. Composer Roy Harris passed away in 1979 at the age of 81. Singer Harry Ray of Ray Goodman and Brown passed away from a stroke in 1992 at the age of 45. Blues musician Scott Dunbar passed away in 1994 at the age of 90. Singer-songwriter Pauline Julian passed away from mental health issues in 1998 at the age of 70. Singer Lena Zavaroni passed away from pneumonia in 1999 at the age of 35. Pianist Robert Allen passed away in 2000 at the age of 72. Bruce Palmer of Buffalo Springfield passed away from heart issues in 2004 at the age of 58. Singer Prentice Barnes passed away in 2006 at the age of 81. Composer Ronnie Hazelhurst passed away in 2007 at the age of 79. Nick Reynolds of the Kingston Trio passed away in 2008 at the age of 75. Composer David Bedford passed away in 2011 at the age of 74. Jazz drummer Butch Ballard passed away in 2011 at the age of 92. Singer and actress Lindsay DePaul passed away from a brain hemorrhage in 2014 at the age of 66. Trumpet player Jerry Gonzalez passed away in 2018 at the age of 69. The man nicknamed the Sinatra of the East, Carol Gott passed away in 2019 at the age of 80. Blues guitarist Beverly Guitar Watkins passed away in 2019 at the age of 80. And world music drummer Julian Bahula passed away in 2023 at the age of 84. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is October 2nd when in 2017 the world lost Tom Petty. Tom Petty. 